hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a lovely day so i went to home bargains primark and sainsbury's recently and picked up some brand new christmas decorations and gifting ideas for a christmas quiz that i'm hosting so i'm going to show you everything i picked up and hopefully by the next video we'll have something festive in the background because the decorations are going up next week which is really exciting so i'm going to go through today's video as quick as i can because there's quite a lot here but i really hope you enjoy it please like and subscribe and let's get straight into it so I'm going to start with the things I got from Sainsbury's because there's only two items and they are my favourite and the first one is this really beautiful wreath. It's just plain green with little plastic twigs and it has this little cream jute ribbon on the front there and I just think this is super super minimal and simplistic and I love it. It's not too Christmassy so it'll go really nice with this room. I'm thinking for this year we'll put it on that door there and then in future years to come we'll have it in the hallway when it's decorated. But I really like that and that was £15 and then I also got the matching garland. It is quite sparse but that is the style of it. It's just very minimal and plain and I can always add lights or little pine cones if I wanted it to be a bit more busy. But this was £12.50 and I just thought these two together are just super super cute and very Pinteresty. So next we'll go to Primark because I got my Christmas wrapping paper from there and it's just this plain brown paper with little green Christmas trees on. This was really good value for money. It was £1.50 for 8 metres and I got two rolls of that and then I also got one matching gift bag on the off chance I need a gift bag for anything. This was £1.30 and it's just got the exact same pattern on and then I also got this little tea light holder it's just this really nice white pot church with a gold trim around the top and then two little fig trees in the front garden that was three pound and you just put the tea light in the back there and I just thought that was really cute and it'll look nice on my desk I then also picked up a two pack of dinner candles these are one pound 80 and I just love the color and my mum actually gave me two of these candlestick holders a few months ago now and these will go really nicely in there in my office just to match the greenery in the house and I really like those. And the final thing from Primark is a Christmas dress. I've always wanted one of these. Primark have them in every single year, but I never end up buying one. But I tried this one on and it looked much better than I thought it would and I loved it. So I picked it up. I was thinking for Christmas day, just while I'm hosting my Christmas quiz, it'll be very festive. But actually it's really, really comfortable because it's such a soft knit material and it's got this little fair trim on the sleeves that I could even wear it as Christmas pyjamas if I wanted to be extra. So I'm not sure what my intentions with this is yet, but we'll see. That was in a small and that was £17. So for the Christmas quiz that I'm hosting, I wanted to get some really good prizes just to incentivise people to try hard. So first place prize is going to be worth £50, second place £40, third place £30. And for the third place prize, I wanted to do sort of a hamper of gifts that would be fun to play on Christmas Day or as jokey gifts. So one of the items for third place prize is jumbo playing cards. These are so cool, they're such a novelty thing, especially on Christmas day. And I just thought once they've been won, we can all open them on Christmas day, have a little game of Reggie or Snap or whatever, and just have fun throwing these around because no way can you hold eight cards at once comfortably and keep adding more to it. So I just thought they'd be a really funny gag gift. £3.99 I think they were. And then in the same aisle as those cards, I also came across these two games. These were £2 each and we've got Don't Get Got, which is a really fun game. We have the proper version of this and it's just tasks that you have to complete throughout the night. You either pass or fail them. This is the Christmas version of that. For example, say it started snowing outside and get a player to go and check. So if you succeed at that, you get a point. Um, really fun game and this is actually going for £12.99 on Amazon and it was only £2 in whole bargains so we picked up about six of these we've got various friends across the country that would love to play this game so we're going to send it to them for Christmas but I really really like that and it's such a good party game and then there was also Santa Banter which is essentially a Balmalama it's just a rhyming game it's really stupid but it's fun on Christmas day and you basically get a statement and you have to think of what words mean the same thing but also rhyme together. So for example, reindeer with a bright nose is trying to knock a ball into a hole with a metal stick. The answer is Rudolph is playing golf. So it's just really stupid but I love games like this. And for only £2 it was a bargain. The next thing I got, I got this quite a while ago and I can't actually remember where I got this from. I'm assuming home bargains but it could have been the pound shop. It's just an extendable fork and it goes pretty long and I just thought again a novelty gag gift on Christmas which will go down a treat and <laughs> go with the extra large playing cards. I haven't picked out my first or second place prize yet. I have to think quite hard about that so I can find a, a prize that a lot of demographics like. I've got my nana there, my two young nieces, my brother and his wife, my mum and dad and my boyfriend. So I need a gift 
that's going to be suitable for everyone and that everybody would want and enjoy. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. £50 is my budget, so anywhere around that region would be great. So in addition to those games from Home Bargains, I also picked up some decorative pieces. And the first one is this really nice gold star tray. It's got the little gold rim around the edge there and a mirrored back. And yes, you could have this on a table as a centerpiece with something on it, a candle or something. But I'm thinking of standing it up on my utility shelf and having it more as a focal point of the room, maybe with a candle in front of it and a little house like that, just to add a bit of decoration to that shelf. So I thought that was really, really pretty and hopefully we can style it up and make it look super cute for Christmas. So the next few things from Whole Bargains are little white decorations. I got this white star, which was 99p. I could put this on a tree, on a door handle, on a hook. I'm not sure what my intentions with this is yet. Um, but I really like these white balls that went along with it. And I was thinking maybe on the tree in this office, I'm not sure, but also as little hair balls. I have a black velvet ball that I wear in my hair whenever I have my hair in a ponytail. And I haven't found any more hair balls that I like, but I really did like these ones. And they come with these little, um, bendy wires in the back so maybe I can fashion a hair bubble type thing out of that and put it in my hair around Christmas so we'll see what happens with these and then from home baggins I also got a little Christmas tree topper it's in this gold wire and it just says it's Christmas and I thought this was really pretty whether or not I use it on a tree I'm not sure I was also thinking of styling it on a shelf with a garland underneath it so it covers this spring and then you've just got the it's Christmas sticking out maybe that'll look cute I'm not sure but it was only $1.99 I think or $2.49 I'm not sure but good value for money and very versatile in how I can style it so we'll see what happens with that when I come to decorate and then finally from Home Bargains is this little dog toy it's a little reindeer with crinkly arms and legs and a little squeaky belly I can't squeak his belly because Chip slide underneath me and he'll go crazy but this was $2.99 and this is going to go in Chip's hamper that I make him every year I've been doing it for about 10 years I get him treats, toys, balls, wrap it all up in a box, give it to him on Christmas Day and he just rips it open, has what he wants, chews what he wants. It's just part of the fun on Christmas. So I'm going to continue that tradition and I think Chip will really enjoy this guy. He was 2 99 if I haven't already said and he's just so cute. So next to Home Bargains is a charity shop and I decided to pop in and I came across the best collection of Christmas plates. I'm not sure if someone had died and their family had donated them but they were dating back maybe 30, 40 years. There were so many of them and I would have bought more but honestly the price put me off. Some of them were like £4.50 but I did buy two and the first one is this little Christmas day scene. It's got a little nutcracker, a girl, big Christmas tree, a castle. This was 2 99 and that is by the Christmas Tale Collection, The Nutcracker by Cherry Denman, I think. And that goes back to 1993. And then my favourite was this one. This one was 199 and I just thought the photos on here were lovely. A little teddy bear, a little girl, a little rocking horse. And this is by Sue Scullard, Christmas Tale Collection, Christmas Teddy. And that's 1998. And I just thought they were beautiful. And I would love to have my own little collection of Christmas pottery and glassware. I've started collecting it so far. And I'm excited to add these to the collection and get them out at Christmas. So really happy with those. I also popped into the range recently and I came across this really cute soap dish. It's dark green with a gold rim and I thought it would have looked perfect in our bathroom if the bathroom was finished, which sadly it's not going to be. So for this year I might just use it as a trinket dish and get it out next year once the bathroom's complete. But I just thought that was really, really pretty, very simple, and I think it was about 4 99 Finally, I can't remember where I got this from. It could be the pound shop, but it could also be home bargains, I'm not sure. But it was just this little white house. It matches the one from Primark really nicely. It's a bit bigger, so you could probably fit a votive candle in the back of it there. But I think it was about £1.50, and it would be nice to eventually collect loads of little white houses and just have them as a set on a shelf or on a desk somewhere. And I really do like this, and I think it would go really lovely with my Christmas decorations. And I'm excited to style everything next week. And that was everything that I bought from the shops. Quite a lot, I know, but we went through the haul quite quickly and there's a lot of new decorations that I can't wait to use next week. By the time you're watching this video, I should be in the middle of decorating and in the next video, there should be some nice festive touches in the background, which is really exciting. I can't wait for the whole house to just feel super cosy all the time again. But thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on my next one next week. Bye guys.